The topic for today is support. Okay, let's 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 talk about support, or rather, the lack thereof. Right. So, like, what does support look like in the dialysis community, the kidney disease community? Right. What does it look like? I have a ton of people that support me by wishing me well and hoping that it all works out, but nobody actually does anything to actually try to help me or actually try to achieve that goal, right? That's not real support. That's thoughts and prayers. And we all know thoughts and prayers don't mean anything. Those are worthless. I have a ton of people around me on a regular basis that are just like, man, that really sucks what's happened. That really sucks what happened to you. And they give you this pat on the back and they tell you, hey, I hope it works out, right? But what really is support? What does that look like? Real support is, hey man, I know that this whole situation has been really bad for you and I know it's terrible. Hey man, listen, if there's anything within my power to do, just let me know. That's real support. Real support is not you going, the, the real support is not them getting the, 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 the ins and outs about what's going on with you, learning all the particulars, and then patting you on the back and then saying, patting you on the back and then saying, and I hope you get a kidney one day. I really do. You're a great guy. I have a ton of people tell me all the time, I'm, oh, you're this great guy. You're this great guy. You deserve a kidney. You're going to get a kidney. You're going to get a kidney. I get that one a lot. Hey, you know, you're this great guy. You're this great guy. Well, I can't be that great if you're not, listen, if you're not even volunteering to do something as simple as make a social media post about it, I can't be that great. But, oh, you know what? I'm only great because I'm good for a laugh. But, hey, man, you know what? Psh, sucks to be him, but that ain't my problem. I hope he gets a kidney, but psh, I'm living my best life right now. It's really what they're saying. <clears throat> Real support is people trying to actually help you achieve a goal. My goal is to get a kidney. And you have a lot of people that hope that I get one, but they're not contributing to me getting one. Now listen, don't get me wrong here, and I'm not saying, well, it's not anybody's obligation to help you. But you know what? <clears throat> If it's not inconveniencing you, I don't see why you can't. If it's not costing you money, I can understand that. Like if it's costing you money or it's inconveniencing you or it's taking you time away from whatever the excuse is, I can understand all that, right? But if it's no more than a button press on your cell phone to post something on Instagram or something on Facebook, that is not inconvenience. That's not an inconvenience. That is not inconveniencing that. That is not, inc that is not inconveniencing you. That is the simplest, most bare minimum thing that you can do that requires no sacrifice. And some people can't even do that. Some people that know me can't even do that. Can't even do that. Now, this is not an indictment on everybody I know. That's just not, that's not what this is. <clears throat> but there are some people, a ton of people, that take that exact approach. And then when you ask them, hey, you know, you think you could just... Post something on socials about me needing this. You get the, ah, man, ooh, ah, I don't know, ah, 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 you know, I have to see, you know, if I have to make time, and, uh, 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 and it's just like, okay, then that's not support. Right? They're just telling you something to say something. They don't really want to do it. What their reasoning is, I don't know. Maybe they don't want to. Maybe they don't want a black man on their socials. You know, Ew, why are you helping that guy? You know, I don't know. Maybe it's a conflict of interest. I don't know. But at the very least, they could just say that to you instead of giving you the run around and they're pretending like they support you. They pretend like they want to see you succeed, but in actuality, they're indifferent to it because it's not them. Oh, well, well psh, man, it's cool. It ain't me. As long as it ain't happening to me, I'm good. That's not supportive. <clears throat> then they sit there and they watch you suffering year after year after year after year. And then that this 
ridiculous idea of looking on the bright side. They project that onto you and then they cling on to whatever little glimpse of hope that they can see in your situation. And then they rationalize it to themselves that it's not that bad. Oh, well, he can walk, so not that bad. You know, well, I don't really need to really need to do anything for him. Hey, that's his fight. That's his mission. Hey, you know what? I'm going to just let him just go and just do this. God chose him for this. So it would be wrong of me to interfere in his journey and his path is how they, you know, that's how that's it. There, That's how they rationalize it. You know, hey, that's his path. It'll build character. You know, God chose him. Maybe maybe all of this stuff is just preparing him, man. All this stuff is just preparing him. It's just getting him ready, you know, for something better down the line, which is in complete and, and utter bullshit. Right. I am literally at a dead end with both kidney transplant and looking for donors because I'm putting out all these flyers and people are tearing my flyers down or the elements like rain or extreme wind is like destroying my flyers. I walk around with this shirt on that says I need a kidney on the back, but people are so busy clicking on their cell phones to look up to read what it says. So I'm literally at a dead end here. I have nowhere. I don't know where else to go. I don't have any other options. Transplants out. What I, I don't know what to do. You know, and nobody talks about this stuff. Everybody wants you to just look on the bright side. Everybody wants to pat you on the back and tell you just to hang in there. Everybody wants to talk about how good everything is. This is the stuff. This in between stuff is the stuff people need to be talking about. It's all good. Uh, no. Nobody ever wants to, nobody ever wants to talk about the stuff in between. Everybody only wants to talk about the end result. Oh, well, you got a kidney, so I guess, you know, the ends justify the means. No. Right? Like these sorts of things need to be highlighted. Right? Like real support is putting yourself out there for somebody. I'm not talking about financially. I'm not talking about, you know, maybe sometimes emotionally. Sometimes listen to what they have to say. Maybe sometimes not glad hand to them and tell them <clears throat> the same cliche BS that everybody else is telling them. Maybe they don't want to hear that. Maybe they want to hear something real. Maybe they want actual support. Maybe they want to be pissed off at the fact that they're surrounded by all these people and nobody is interested in saying anything. And they hope that you don't ask them. And you don't want to ask because if they say no, that might change the dynamics of your relationship. You know, you're asking them to do something simple and they simply just say no or they don't do it. They just simply don't do it. But you're expected to st you're expected to be the bigger person. You're expected to just be OK with it. They don't have an obligation to help you. But if they care like they say they do, it shouldn't be a problem. You shouldn't even have to ask. You shouldn't even have to beg somebody. Oh, well, this guy needs this kidney. He's looking for a donation. Maybe I could just help him out. Doesn't have to be a forever thing. Doesn't have to be a permanent thing. If the person that's asking you really does care about you, they're not going to ask you to do that. They're going to they're gonna ask you the one time and then that's it. Maybe somewhere down the road, if it's still an issue, they'll ask you again. But if they really do care about you, they're not going to put the heat on you to help them. But if they care about you, they will. You shouldn't have to beg. You should not have to ask. You shouldn't have to remind them. Because if they don't, then you're not a priority to them. Not really, regardless of what they say. <clears throat>